Hello everyone, this is me, Safia here, and I'm back with the third week of May read, start from the 15th through the 21st of May, 2024. This reading is uh, going to be for the sign of uh, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, let's see what is coming in for you for this week time. Just be mindful, that's a general reading, help me and it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, Sagittarius, let's see what is happening for you during this week time. Let's see. Let's take one more card. What's coming in for you for this week time? Let's begin. Under the deck, we do have a secret admirer. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, there is somebody out there who's watching you from a distance and has probably some feelings for you um i feel like you know this can be somebody at your work front maybe somebody who is interested in you but has not opened up about it yet maybe they are just observing you they are feeling like you know that they have they're trying to understand their own feelings for you right now this person can be somebody who is in your friend zone it can be at your work front it can be your classmate if you're studying uh, but this person seems like has a lot in their heart for you um, and they would be the most caring person, you know, when you are around this person, they would show it to you as well. Let's see more cards here. What else is happening here? We do have honesty and truth. Wow. We do have silence and no contact. We do have healing and releasing. And we do have toxicity, karmic relationship. Now I know what is it all about. I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, there is somebody out there you are dealing with and uh, that person, that connection is toxic. Um, you might be unable to see this person and their love and admiration for you because because you're stuck with the wrong person. Uh, for majority of you, maybe you are in a no contact situation with the person that you are having that karmic relationship with. Uh, but somehow, what you see in this relationship is uh, maybe you think that this is your soulmate. You think like this is your twin flame. You think you, this person is your everything. Things are going to work out. You know, your relationship with this person is going to work out. Right now, maybe the two of you are not in uh, talking terms right now. Maybe there is no contact, complete no contact. Or for some of you, you might be having on and off relationship with this person. They have been quiet. They have been silent. They have been ignoring you they have been neglecting you but you still have feelings that maybe this is the one i really feel like you know for a majority of you there is somebody out there who is meant to be your person whether you know about this person as of now or not or you know you you already have this person in your surrounding once you break free from this karmic cycle of this person that you are having right now who you are in a no contact situation with then only you will have this person showing up to you about their feelings there might be somebody who knows that you are in a relationship right now you are in a situation right now and they're waiting for you to break free from it so they can pursue you they can let you know that they want you but maybe you are not breaking free from this toxic connection thinking that i don't have another option you know i where, where do i go then I feel like, you know, it's, it's more like you're not relying on your intuition about moving on. You know, if you could rely and trust your own intuition around, you should move on. And if you had moved on, this person would have showed up. Now, I really feel like, you know, the divine really wants you to know one thing, that this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, they are karmic. They are not like your twin flame or soulmate. You have to move past this person. You have to heal your heart, release this person of yours, and then only you will be able to find the true love, the person who is going to value you, love you, respect you for who you are. There will be a lot of honesty and truth there. With this person here, they have been hiding a lot of things is what I see here. Let's see what else is coming in for you. I feel like, you know, for some of you, the truth might reveal to get revealed to you about this person who you are in a no contact situation with, which might help you heal the past, heal yourself and move on, move forward, leaving the karmic cycle behind. Um, which might open up doors to this new person that is yet to enter in your life is what I see here in a romantic way. Maybe you already have this person in your life, but they haven't like, you know, opened up to the, to, you know, themselves to you. Let's see what else is coming in for you, Sagittarius. 
What is it? What is it coming up for you in your life in this big time? Let's see what the tower has to add. Hold on, let me pick the card up. So we do have the tower. Let's see what else is coming in. I feel like, you know, for some of you, as the truth gets revealed to you, maybe you, you, you are in a no contact situation with this person and you are not aware that they are having another person in their life. Maybe that truth is going to get revealed to you, which is going to make it easy for you to move away from this person. Um, I really feel like, you know, there is some sort of a destructive energy coming in your life with this, you know, information coming for you. And it is going to give you the reality check that was missing there for you. And which is going to make you feel like, you know, moving on from this person, this situation uh, towards a better future. So I really see some fiery energy entering in your life around this connection that you have. And uh, things going to get revealed to you after a period of like um, being, um, you know, not aware of anything about, you know, what's going on in their life and what, what this person is all about. You are going to be like able to see them through and um, let's see we do have the devil and then we do have the four of souls i really feel like you know for some of you um there is a third body situation that you are unaware of and this relationship is karmic for majority of you for some of you your relationship might be influenced by black magic influence as well which could be the reason why your love life is not the way you want it to be people have been trying to influence your life in a negative way for some of you and um I really feel like, you know, if that's the case, you have to work, um, you have to get done, uh, you have to get rid of the black magic influence there in your life. But I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, um, your obsession towards this person could be the reason, not the black magic. Um, and I really feel like, you know, the way you are dealing with your love life and this person specifically who you have to let go of, I really feel like, you know, that needs to change. Once that is changed, your life is going to move forward, move ahead. The more you are going to be like thinking about this person and this connection going next level or when is that going to happen, the more you're going to keep yourself stuck. So I really feel like, you know, you're blocking and self-sabotaging yourself with this person that you're currently dealing with. You have to release this person. Once that person is released and you move on, move forward, your life is going to get easy and you will be able to recharge, reflect and the abundance will be able to come through for you. So I feel like, you know, that's what is the actual block for you. Under the deck, we do have the page of pentacles. I really feel like, you know, as you let go of this person and the situation and you understand this uh, better, you will be able to set some new goals for yourself. You will be able to have your guards up. You will be able to have the courage to speak up for yourself. Right now, what I see here is you are letting people hurt you. You might have been having the same pattern in your love life in recent times where you allow people to hurt you, but now is the time when you have to stop it. It was is, is what I see here. I really feel like you know, for majority of you, as you would be able to move on from this person, you would have other people to date and meet and to be with. And what is going to change your life? Right now, your obsession with this person and your uh, addiction to this person and that fear that what if you don't have another person in your life later on, that's keeping you stuck here with this person, which is the reason why you are unable to break free from this toxic cycle and a karmic cycle that you have to break free from and move forward to a better future in love. There is somebody out there who's already waiting for you is what I see here. It can be somebody in your surroundings or if not, then this person is yet to enter in your life, but they will enter once you let it go, let this person go. So yeah, that's uh, what I see coming in for you for this week time. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. And if you are willing to purchase any of the services, including black magic removal, you can always reach out to me for that as well. Check the description box for further details. Till I do the next read, take care. Bye.